Hello, my name is Junus Tadias. I'm the ninth grade student of gymnasium number one named after Aba Kihanov. The name of my project is Research of Photonics and its Application in Communication System of Kazakhstan. The purpose of the research is to analyze the current state and prospects of using photonics in communication system of Kazakhstan, their advantages and possible directions of development. As the for the relevance of the study is due to need to improve the efficiency and reliability of the national information infrastructure. The object of the study is, is communication system of Kazakhstan. The subject is the application of photonics in this system. Theoretical and practical significance of the work is determined by the possibility of applying the obtained resources to improve the efficiency, reliability, and security of communication network, which contributes to acceleration of scientific and technological progress of the economic development of the country. So, scientific novelty of the research consists in the analysis of possibilities of integration of photonic technologies in communication infrastructure, specifically in Kazakhstan, as well as the development within the framework of the school project called visualization of modes of mode distribution in multi-mode optical fiber. I will first highlight the basic definitions and terms of my project. Photonics is the science and technology of photons generations, control, and, uh, and detection, which involves the use of light to transmit information and offers methods for transmitting data on light signals, which increases the speed and quality of communication. Mod in the context of fiber optic communication, the distribution of the electromagnetic field within a fiber that determines the propagation pattern of white and assassinated data. Fiber optic is a type of wave guide used in communications to transmit light and data over long distance with minimum walls. A photon is elementary particle of light that has both wave and corpuscular properties. Brief historical or real development of photonics. The beginning of the photonics era can be considered the work of Maxwell, which laid the foundation of electromagnetic theory of light that not only anticipated the discovery of radio waves, but also became the basis of subsequent research in optics and photonics. In the early 20th century, Albert Einstein's work on the quantum nature of light paved the way for the development of quantum mechanics and quantum optics which became a key moment in the history of photonics and not only uh, expanded the understanding of the fundamental properties of light, but also contributed to the development of new optical instruments and methods of analysis. The fiber optic infrastructure in Kazakhstan continues to expand, carrying more regions of the country. The mobile communication sector in Kazakhstan is also undergoing significant changes, especially with plans to introduce 5G networks. Kazakhstan faces a number of challenges in the communications industry, including the need to modernize aging infrastructure and ensure cyber security networks and data. One of the problems in using fiber optics is signal attenuation optical lines. Therefore, in my project, I focused on one of my key aspects is uh, modeling and visualization of modes of mode distribution in multi-mode optical fiber, which allows to visualize and analyze the process of light propagation inside the fiber. And in this case, Python programming with using NumPy immutable libraries is powerful too for visualization of this process. Let's, uh, let's focus on modeling LP, binary polarized mods, which are often used to describe modes in circle optical fibers. For simplicity, let's use uh, LPN01 and LPN11 mods, which are the most common in multi-mode fibers. The existing code creates and displays two visualizations for mod uh, LP01 and LP11 mods using the same functions for simulate the light intensity distribution in the cross section of the fiber. It's important to note that in real life, uh, multi-mode fibers can be more complex and numerous, but this example gives a basic idea of how it propagates within the, the fiber depending on the mode. In the left plot, the LP01 mode shows an intense bright spot in the center. 
This indicates that this mode has the highest slight intensity in the central part of the fiber and rapidly decreases as it moves away from the center. This is a typical distribution for fundamental mode, which has a Gaussian density distribution. In the right graph, the OP11 mode is shown with the two concentration leaks, indicating that the light density is maximum not at the center, but the certain radius from the center. This distribution is typical for a higher mode, which has a nodal line at the center, which typical for the second mode, LP11 in that case. Both graphs illustrate how the model structure of the optical fiber affects the propagation of light, which has important applications for the design and analysis of optical fiber communications systems. The choice of mode affects the chain of capacity, data transmission efficiency, and other key system characteristics. In conclusion, I would like to focus on the following. The development of photonics and its implementation in telecommunication system Kazakhstan has a significant potential to enhance the efficiency, capacity, and security of data transmission. The application of photonic technologies in fiber optic networks allows not only to significantly increase the speed of data transmission, but also to guarantee its security or significant distance minimizes losses and interference. Thus, the study confirmed that photonics is an uh, integral part of the future communication system of Kazakhstan, contributing to a reliable and efficient infrastructure to meet the growing demand for data transmission.